Well, Wednesday, August 24th, 2022. Just finished this. And I'm deciding on whether it's actually finished or not. So this is that jacket I've been working on. And I had originally intended to do all of the seams laced this way. But once I got the back all done, I felt like it would be too much, too much to do all of the seams in this, in this manner. Like just visually, it would have been too much. Um, and I, but I really like it. I like the detail down the back. I think it's very compelling, very spinal. And so what I did is I came through and brought together in, in, a, in a butt joint the two seams and then, and then affixed it with this woven, with this vintage woven ribbon. So that's what I did on the top of the sleeve as well as underneath the bottom of the sleeve. And then just simple binding to finish the outside edge. So I had also thought that I was going to do some sort of embellishment on the canvas, some sort of fabric painting. And I don't know, I feel like it might be too much visually. Although what is too much visually, right? Like, but I don't know. What I was thinking of doing was taking one of these flowers and enlarging it and drawing it on, on the back, like up on the shoulder, maybe like in a diagonal kind of thing, um, and then adding the color in. But this is such an interesting detail to add that embellishment on top. I don't know. I think it would just be overdoing it. So then I thought, well, maybe I put it on the front, you know, like on the front lapel, like a flower on the lapel, and I still might do that. I still might do that. I don't think that would be too much. But if I have something on the front, does it need to relate to the back because I don't have this detail on the front, right? So do I need to tie the front to the back? Like right now, this is just like a nice surprise when you come around here, but if I add another element of design here, does that need to then relate to something back here, like maybe down in the corner, something smaller? I don't know. So I'm still sitting on that. There, there still could be more on this jacket. So if I'm going to sell this jacket, let's see, I, stitched, I just stitched an L for Larissa, Larissa Louise on, on the pockets here. But if I'm going to sell this jacket, see, materials-wise, hmm... It's $11.90 a yard for the, for the canvas, and there's probably a yard and a half, yard and a quarter, yard and a quarter. So what, what's it say, $15 there, and then the denim. I mean, it's scrap, but I had bought that as yardage, and so it was just, I made that buy, all that binding stuff from scrap that I had from yardage, and I'd say there's probably, oh, three quarters of a yard there, and that stuff was like 15 bucks a yard. So say twelve dollars there, twelve and fifteen. So far, that's uh, what is that? Twenty-seven dollars. And then the thread, another another six bucks. So what are we up to? Like thirty-two dollars here so far. And then the ribbon, the ribbon I bought, it was ten bucks for the for the for the vintage ribbon. But there's not that. I didn't use all of it. So maybe another dollar worth of ribbon there. So let's say let's say let's say thirty five dollars in materials. Well, then there's the the hemp that I tied the backing with. So okay, let's let's say forty dollars in materials. And it's an original design, and I've been working on it now for a week. But all my stuff is one of, so it's not like I'm going to make another one of these, right? Like I've worked out the pattern of the jacket. This, this, but this jacket is a one of a kind. All of them are one of a kind based on a based on a similar pattern, right? So there was the time in 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 adjusting the pattern, making the for working out the pattern and all all of that. So let's say mm, all of that, like and the and the sewing and and things. Let's say a hundred dollars wholesale for the jacket. So $200 retail for this jacket. It's not lined.
but it doesn't need to be lined. It's, it's you know, kind of like, it's the weight, it's, it's canvas, it's like the weight of a jean jacket. It really is. It's the weight of a jean jacket. I think it's cute. It fits real nice. And I really, really, I really like this. I really like this design. I also really like this. And now what I'm thinking for the next one that I'll do, um, I can hide, I'll sew it inside, I'll sew it inside out, right? So that the seam is on, is on the outside. And then I can stitch over the top a wider ribbon to make a detail and that will, that will encase all of the seams. So that'll be interesting. That'll be interesting. Add a design element. And when the dishwasher's done, I'm gonna make a nice pot of mushroom soup. It's cooler here today than it has been in a while. And I kind of feel like a pot of mushroom soup. So the other thing I did yesterday, oh, I gotta take, let's take this stuff down with me. This is some of that moss, Icelandic moss. I pulled my first sheet, my test sheet of paper. Yeah, let's go check on it and see how it's doing down here. So like I said, I used to have actual paper making decals, but they disappeared in Oakland with a bunch of my other tools, right? Oh, it's dry. So instead I have improvised using a screen, a window screen. So this is my first piece test piece of paper here. Look at that. So I didn't add any extra sizing. I wanted to see what the texture was going to be like um, without any sizing, without adding any, any sizing. Of course, there was sizing in the paper and it has dried a more pleasant color. It was kind of a dingy looking gray before. It's interesting when I, when I pulped, when I broke up the pulp in the Vitamix, about the only thing that that Vitamix is good for. What a disappointing piece of technology that is supposed to be some fancy ass blender it hardly does oh, anyway it's good for paper pulping um but th 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 this was recycled newsprint that i used and um the newsprint of course there there's some some bleaching that happens in the process when they recycle it but there's there's still some residual um ink left over and you don't really see it until you repulp the paper and then kind of like this purpley gray color comes uh, comes up. And so I had added a little bit of bleach to the water for two reasons. One, I wanted to see if I could get rid of that color that was in it. Um, but also because, you know, I've had this paper pulp sitting in water down here now for a number of days and I wanted to prevent um, mold from growing in it um, while I'm using it. So, yeah. What does this have the texture? This kind of has a texture of similar to egg carton. It has a similar kind of texture to egg carton, although it's a little more mm, pliable. It's a little more pliable than that, but it has a similar texture to that, the feel of this. And I just couched it with that, with you know, onto this towel. I couched it onto this towel, which is on a board actually, with that, with that uh, sponge. So I think the next one that I'm going to do. I may try adding some, some dye, watercolor dyes, directly to the paper um, when I couch it. And um, that, that'll, be, that'll be interesting. And um, also I'll be adding the Icelandic moss to the pulp. So that'll be interesting, won't it? What do you think, Brody? Should mama add some sizing? Should I add some starch? Should I add some starch to the paper? I don't think it needs it. Although it may need it when I add in the Icelandic moss. So these, this paper is going to go on um, some handmade books that I did for the covers, right? And, and these covers are, are going to be, are inspired by the volcano that is petering out there in Iceland. Mm, that moss smells good. It really does. It smells really nice. Mmm. So I, I found some recipes. There's from Icelandic moss soup. It's like moss and milk. It's like a, it, it's, it sounds more like a tea, a milk tea than, than a soup. 
but it's listed as a soup and it has a little bit of salt in it so it's a little more savory I suppose I've never tasted this I, I haven't I haven't prepared any of this for cooking so like I haven't consumed any of this I couldn't tell you what it tastes like but I found a number of different recipes I got a book uh, about Icelandic uh, medicinal herbs medicinal and culinary herbs it was and it's it's been interesting to to read through so yeah that's what I got going on down here what do you think Brody what do you think? Is Mama crazy? No, Mama's not crazy. Brody's upset, and he doesn't want he doesn't want to let me out of his sight because somebody, somebody was poking around down in our driveway, and he had a fit. He does not like it, especially when they don't come all the way up. Oh, see, there's somebody driving, and he's really upset. He's he's like, oh, poor Brody. Brody, Mommy's safe. Mommy's safe. Thank you, buddy. Mommy's safe. Hey, everybody's safe. Everybody's safe. Everybody's safe. So, yeah, next thing's next. Next thing's next is going to be pulling another piece of paper. Kind of a cool thing. Kind of a cool thing. You want to see the pulp? The pulp's kind of cool. It's kind of gross, actually. Where did I learn how to make paper? I took a paper making class when I was in high school and down at the Rochester um, Arts Center, downtown Rochester. They had oil paint. I took oil painting. I took um, paper making. I took watercolor. I took a drawing class down there when I was in high school. But anyway, that's where I learned how to make paper. So this is just, this was just, um, like I said, it was recycled newsprint and I've been soaking it in this water. You see that? I got stung or I had a thorn or something in my thumb and I picked at it. I did, I did a little, little home surgery on my thumb. I don't know. Maybe I need to put some Neosporin on that. Um, but see, here's, here's a piece of, you can see that one's not broken. That piece isn't broken down so much. It still kind of looks like a little sheet of paper. Um, but after I soaked it for a couple days and mashed it up and tore it up, then it went into, in batches, into the, into the blender here. I could probably do a little more blending. See, there's still a couple pieces in here. Anyway. Anyway.